Magandang umaga po muli sa lahat. Welcome po muli dito po sa ating daily devotion sa ating pong Facebook page and YouTube uh, channel. At uh, maraming pong salamat sa mga nakikinig sa ating uh, programa na uh, daily devotional. And I hope and pray na tayo po ay natutulungan sa ating spiritual lives ng online ministries, ng mga pastor, ng mga deacons, and ng mga leaders ng church na magbibigay po ng devotional po sa atin. Ngayong umaga po, we will look at John 14.27. Ang sinasabi po ni Jesus Christ sa John 14.27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ngayon po, we will look at the peace of Christ. The peace of Christ. And taken from John 14, 27. Nakasakay na po ba kayo ng barko? At uh, ito po during sa isang uh, merong malakas na bagyo. Sa mga nakasakay na ng barko, tapos naka-experience ng malakas na bagyo, or kahit mahinang bagyo, nakakatakot talaga yon no? Yung mga waves ay malalaki, merong mga kidlat at kulog, mga uh, nakakatakot ng mga pag-alog ng barko or pag-sway ng barko, di ba? And sabi po ng mga uh, ibang mga tao, sa, sa taas ng uh, dagat, ganun yung mga nangyayari. Ngunit doon po sa pinakailalim ng dagat, okay, all is calm and serene. Alam niyo po ba na yung uh, peace ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ay katulad nun? Because the peace of Christ, it is not the absence of difficulty and distress. But it is a deep calm in spite of the storms of life. You know, the night before Jesus went to the cross, He gave His disciples the words of John 14, 27. He wasn't saying all their circumstances would be calm and serene. On the contrary, the disciples' lives were about to be turned upside down. However, sinabi ni Jesus sa kanila that His peace was available to them to sustain them through their tears and trials. Huwag po tayo maniniwala sa mga nagsasabi na pag tayo ay Christians, lahat po ay magiging peaceful, lahat po ay magiging masagana, wala nang mga trials or sufferings. Hindi po ganun ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. No? May napanood nga po ako sa Facebook na sinasabi na pag lagi mong binibigkas yung uh, Psalm 91 verse 1, ay magiging mapayapa yung iyong uh, buhay, ang um, wala ka ng problema, uh, parang ginawang talisman yung uh, or orasyon yung Psalm 91 verse 1. Hindi po ganun yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Isokristo na yung Bible, magiging talisman natin, maging orasyon natin, o pag tayo naging kristyano ay wala na tayong mararanasan na worry or fear or kung ano mang mga troubles. Did you know that the Lord offers us that same peace? na ino-offer niya sa mga disciples during that time. He offers this peace to the disciples because He knows that there will be troubles. So He offers this peace to us as well. However, it's something that we must choose. We can either follow our Lord's command to let not our hearts be troubled, katulad ng sinasabi niya, or we can choose to embrace our worries and fears. Tayo naman po ay mga uh, tao lamang po, di ba? And uh, may mga times na naka-experience natin yung mga katakot sa puso natin, anxiousness, turmoil, dahil sa mga may hirap na situation sa buhay natin. However, we don't have to let those feelings dominate us. Instead, we can choose the peace of Jesus Christ. Jesus said in John 14.1, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. The more we lean upon the Lord and put our trust in Him, the more of His presence we will receive. Kung tayo po ay naintindihan natin talaga kung gaano po tayo kamahal ng Panginoon at naniniwala po tayo, nananampalataya po tayo na Siya po ay uh, sovereign. 
at nag-work po siya sa buhay natin para po sa ikabubuti natin katulad ng sinasabi sa Romans 8.28. He works for the good of those who love Him. Kung ganun po ay the greater our peace will become. We will experience, as Paul said, the peace of God which passeth all understanding. If your heart is troubled, surrender every fear and anxious thought into the hands of our loving and gracious Lord and allow Him to guard your heart with His peace. God bless us all. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your comforting words today. We pray, Father, that we would choose to see your goodness, to see your loving kindness, your hands working in our lives. We pray, Father, that we would choose to see the peace that you have given to us in spite of many trials, many tribulations around us. We can still experience your peace. And we pray, Father, that uh, you would help us to have hope in you and not be bothered and not be swayed by our fears and our anxiousness, by the turmoils around us. So help us, Lord. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.